Hey, bro. Okay. That's what I'm saying. You can have it. I'm just letting you know it. Shit, hell. I'm about ready to give it to you free, man. If you don't hurry up, shit. <laughs> oh, man. But, um, Earl says, man, I'll take Shane as a heel GM, but not as a wrestler. No. I don't, I don't, I don't need to see Shane wrestle. I, it's not like Shane was a great wrestler. So I don't need to see Shane wrestle. Uh, you know, he could just come do what he do, and, you know, and, and be a factor in some way. Um, man, did I miss it? Or did they not just show all the, oh, no, damn. Yeah, it's definitely an overrun. I just realized it's 10 on 1. Yeah, I figured, because like I said, when, when Swerve came out, it was already like 9.53. I'm like, damn, that's late. Man, that's all right. It's it's the, it's the, it's it look. See, TNT understands. It's like okay, this is the wrestling show. Look here, man. We gonna show these same shows and movies. We got the we see USA. USA be on that funny shit. And then where they like, oh, we got to turn it off so we can watch show you this shit that we didn't showed you a thousand and one times over. Or you want to do the Miz and Misses, which man, people watch it, but man, I mean, ain't nobody trying to watch that shit. <laughs> man, you know, I'm, t- I'm tired of them cutting the shit off at 1058 to fucking exactly, run. Man. Like, man. This ain't even a title match, man, but this is important to you because of the main event of the pay-per-view. And of course, the swerve going up against his former group. So, like, yeah, but at the same time, it's still on. And it's after 10 o'clock. So, you know, it's just a little thing, man. Uh, Doc says, I could see Vince getting AEW on Monday Night USA Network when WWE goes to Netflix. The thing is, I, that wouldn't be a great idea. I'm sorry. Um, I am never, I don't care who says it. TNA did it once and it was enough yep. for me. It's enough for me. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody, until you become a guaranteed juggernaut no matter how good or bad the wrestling people think about it because you got to think about it wwe is a juggernaut regardless of how we felt about it yeah. prior to triple h taking you know taking over and running it him, himself now it was a juggernaut no matter what it is we like some stuff but we hated a lot of other shit. but it was still a juggernaut until somebody else becomes that nobody else but not ever and i mean ever and when I say ever, I mean Chris Jericho ever go up against Monday Night Raw ever, ever. Especially now that it's moving to Netflix. You bet not go up. You bet not yeah. move to Monday Night. You better stay away from Monday Nights. Now that they about to move to Netflix, you better stay the fuck away. And my, and my thing is, she's talking about putting on USA shit. USA and their restrictions and cable restrictions in general is the reason why WWE did the Netflix deal. So they can have a little bit more freedom. And on top of that, with I was listening to Triple H's uh, uh, thing on Pat McAfee. He said, as soon as WWE goes to Netflix, 80% of the world will have access to WWE. 80% of the entire world will have access. That's, that is fucking crazy when you think about that. That's beyond, that's beyond because it's no longer on domestic television. Yeah, yeah. You're taking it out of domestic and putting it on a whole new platform that can go global. Hey, ain't that, that what, ain't that what Bishop, ain't that what Eric Bishop was talking about when we was talking about uh, the whole partnership deals and we had him on an interview, how he was saying yeah. domestically, WCW numbers started to hit the bit, you know, hit the hit the fan. But across, they were doing great with all the crazy yeah. shit. So, bruh, can you imagine this? Oh my god. And okay, so a couple of points. I'm, I'm gonna hit on this. First yeah. and foremost, it's better for AEW to stay where they're at because TBS TNT allowed them to do way more yeah. than USA would ever allow them to do. Oh, wait. That's one, two. Number two. If Discovery ever pulls the trigger and puts the library in AEW on HBO Max or Max or whatever it's going to be called, yeah, dude, they're in the same boat because now you're on a streaming platform that everyone, a lot of people have HBO Max. Yeah. Everybody's got, a lot of people got that. They got a lot of stuff on there you can watch. A lot of people got it. It's not Netflix, but it's close enough. But it's still, I, dude, you, no, that's, that's, that, bruh, bruh, bruh. Bru. That it, 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 they they might have to pull the trigger on that, but 
you know, that's another conversation for a different day. But right now with Netflix, uh, getting WWE Raw, you better not, and I repeat, better not go up against that show. SmackDown, and eh, you may have a chance with SmackDown because they're moving. SmackDown is moving off Fox, and they're going what back to USA. Yeah, uh, but Triple H said eventually the plan is to have SmackDown Raw and, and like in its entirety. The, Everything he goes on them, all three on Netflix, which is a fucking huge. And when that happens, you stay the fuck off of their days. You stay off of their days. Period. Stay off of their days. There's no point. I mean, unless you just you on a network that's pushing the hell. You got to be on a top network. You got to yeah. be on something everybody got. You got to be on something everybody got somehow. As uh, Will Ospreay and, uh, and, and uh, hey, I think about this. She's gonna be commercial free. I'm like that. That's gonna be. I'm very curious to see the format for that. To see like a Raw versus a SmackDown, just to see right. how they structure the shows with one being you know commercial free, the other one being kind of a little bit more restricted. And of course, yeah. you got to you got to you got to you got to script it and structure it different.